This is the level 3 2016 electricity exam. I'll be working through question 3. Right, question 3. Uh, Vivian wants to measure the amount of iron in an iron sand mixtures collected from different beaches. The diagram below shows the circuit that she uses. The circuit includes a 500 turn um, coil with resistance 15 ohms. Um, and an AC supply. The coil behaves resistor and inductor in series. So this is an LR circuit. The coil has a hollow core that is initially empty. Um, Vivian describes the power supply voltage of 6 volts RMS, so root mean squared. So that's the average voltage basically. Um, calculate the maximum um, instantaneous so peak voltage across the power supply. So on your formula sheet you have, can we see it here? Um, where is it? In here somewhere. There it is. V max equals square root times square root two uh, V M V R M S. So V max is equal to square root two times V R M S. That's the root mean squared voltage, um, which is just equal to square root two times this, which is six point zero zero, which is equal to eight. 0.49 volts. Remember 3SF because that's in 3SF. In square root 2 you can have to infinite accuracy if you would like. Right, second question. During testing, Vivian puts a mixture of iron and sand in the core of her, inside the core of a coil. State what effect this has on the size of the coil's reactance. Um, with reference to impedance, explain what happens to the size of the current in the circuit as she adds the mixture to the of iron and sand. So this is Reactance of the inductor is equal to the frequency or the angular frequency um, times the inductance. Angular frequency is just 2 pi times the regular frequency. Um, so if you put sand in there, it's going to increase the inductance. So the iron sand will increase um, the inductance. Uh, thus increasing the reactance. Reactance X uh, L X L. Yeah, so that's going to increase the reactance because um, the inductance goes up, which means the reactance goes up because the frequency is still the same. Um, second part, with reference to the impedance, explain what happens to the size of the current. Um, so the impedance, impedance will increase, increase um, as z to the impedance is equal to square root of regular reactance plus the resistance squared and because there's no capacitor in there I'll just put XL because um, uh, 90 degrees out of phase from each other um, so if you increase X the increase the reactance of the inductor the total impedance of the circuit will um, increase so this will decrease the current flowing flowing as V goes V equals current times the impedance or R you know impedance and resistance are just they're not the same thing um, impedance is basically fancy resistance you only get impedance and oscillate and oscillating circuits alternating circuits or AC circuits um, <clears throat> capacitors and inductors um, have impedance because they react to the change in the voltage they, they react to the change in the, in the voltage change in the current change in the voltage they, they react to the change of it um, so they're the only ones with impedance and oh, that's basically answered I'll go a little more detail over the page because gets into it right so next question 
Wind Vivian sets the frequency of the current to, we see that, 1000 Hz. The inductance of the coil is 3.18 times 10 to the negative, so 3.18 milli henries. Use phase diagram, or otherwise calculate the size of the RMS current in the circuit. So if we assume it starts at like a, like a regular argand diagram, this is where it all leads to in the, eventually anyway. If you continue with electricity, you just do argand diagram. So the resistance of the resistor is starts at the starts here at the sort of start of your argand diagram. So that's 15 ohms. I know that it says it over here. Yep, 15 ohms. 15 ohms. And that's R, that's resistance. Um, your reactance of the inductor, XL, acts 90 degrees in front of the resistance of your resistor. That's just a property of the of the um, inductor, really. It's just, it's just a property of what they are. So that, I don't know what you know what that is. So XL is equal to omega L, we had that over the page, um, I don't know what XL is but I can work it out, that's equal to 2 pi times the uh, frequency is 1000 hertz, or 1 times 10 to the 3, same thing, um, times, what's the new inductance, 3.1818 times 10 to the negative 3 henrys, that's equal to, if you calculate that through 19.98, or let's just make that 20, 20 ohms. There we go. So now we can put 20 ohms up there. Uh, yep. Ohms, ohms. Reactance and impedance and all that, all just measured in ohms because they're all a form of resistance. Right. So you'll notice this is a right angle triangle. And what you're trying to find is you're trying to find this impedance. So it's going to be something, there's going to be a vector. If you add these two vectors together, like you normally do with vector addition, um, it's going to be here somewhere. So I'll go up here, across to there. And I'll put a dotted line. Oh, shouldn't have done that, but anyway, shouldn't have really put that 20 there. This is your impedance. That's the sum of the re resistance and the reactance of the circuit. You're going to have to use Pythagoras to work it out. So you've got Z is equal to um, square root of the resistance squared plus the reactance squared. And you can put subscript L. If you've got an X, if you've got a capacitor and an inductor in there, um, you just take the biggest number and minus it off the smallest number. So if the capacitance, if the reactance of the capacitor is bigger, you subtract that. If your reactance of the um, inductor is bigger, you subtract that. But you do that visually using phasor diagrams. Otherwise, you'll get the direction of your um, impedance backwards. But the magnitude will still be the same. Um, right. So if you plug this in, it should give you square root. Uh, what's the resistance? 15 squared plus 25, uh, 20 squared is equal to plug and chug. That should give me 25.0 ohms. So that is the resistance. Um, what else? Want to, what I actually want to find out? Use the phase diagram. Calculate the size of the RMS current in this circuit. So I want to try and find the current. So V equals I R or I Z impedance resistance. The one's just a fancy version of the other one not quite but close enough so I have the impedance yep and I have the voltage yep 6 volts you always use RMS for basically everything to do with AC unless stated so unless you're trying to work out the maximum energy at some point in time always use RMS so I R M S is going to be equal to V R M S over Z the impedance it's going to be 6.00 over 25.0, which is going to be equal to 0 0.24 amps. That should be in 3SF, but it's not. But I should come in what the actual digit is afterwards because I've calculated it before. Doesn't matter. Um, that's all right. So, do I actually need to work out the direction like that? No, I don't have to work out the angle at all. Nope. Okay. Vivian adds capacitor in series with the coil, then finds that the current increases. Explain why this. I just explained this before, but um, the reactance, reactance um, of both. You see that? 
the capacitor capacitor and inductor uh, 180 degrees out of phase. Um, you have to, well, the marking schedule says you don't have to put 180 degrees out of phase, but just because if you say something's out of phase, it just means they're not, you know, if this is an R grand diagram here, these two vectors, that one there and that one there, are out of phase. But they're not 180 degrees out of phase, they're just out of phase. Cross that out. Capacitor and duct is 180 degrees out of phase, which is kind of neat, which means you can do some cancellations because they just add, add together like vectors. So um, this means they either partially, because one could be bigger than the other, or if they're exactly the same size, or completely, partially, or, or completely, completely cancel out. So out. Um, uh, this means Z is either, it's proportional to R. If you've got no reactants at all, um, basically your impedance is equal to the resistance. Um, we're assuming that's completely cancelled out, so I've just put roughly equal to because it's going to be decreased anyway, so it's going to be equal to R. Um, so the impedance is less, less causing greater current with the where's my width with the same voltage yeah as i is equal to v over z so if z goes down i goes up there we go